What do you do with the quarterback? Is the quarterback the problem on offense? Is he the biggest problem? We, we all agree there's many problems, right? Scheme, I would imagine. People believe offensive line, I think most would agree, is probably the biggest problem. And the quarterback, how much of a problem is he? Can he simply not throw anymore? See, I don't see that. I don't see the not throw part of it. Not move, not avoid heat. Um, I still have seen him made throws now. Has he been as accurate as you would like? No. I mean, he, that pass to Washington, just you got to hit that. But I've seen him make the sideline throws. I don't see his arm being a problem. Clearly his mobility is and working behind that offensive line. Yeah, he can't move he anymore. He can't move here's, out of there. He can't. I agree and disagree with that, Ron. I saw him make a throw the other day from the left hash all the way to the right sideline that Drew Brees couldn't make if, if, His he, life if he tried right. a thousand times last year. It's different. However, Ben's arm strength has decreased a little bit, I would say. And more importantly and most importantly, it's great that he can make that throw. Can he drive it down the field consistently, accurately? And the answer to me is is no, he can't. Well, they had two 88-yard drives. They drive the ball down the field. Now, again, how much of that I is mean, it, against the defense? He dumped it off to Najee Harris on a couple uh, plays. A couple of those plays. So were, you're you're disagreeing. You think Ben can drive the ball down the field consistently? I, I, I saw him do it in Buffalo the second half, and I saw him do it the other day late. I, I mean, I think his throws are good, but, I mean, again, where does that mobility factor into that? He's going to get killed behind that offensive line. I don't know. He even late, as you pointed out in your column, he overthrew Fryermuth, he overthrew Claypool, and he overthrew James Washington. Yeah, he did. I, I mean, the accuracy. His is, accuracy beyond zero yards is highly in question it, it, right it now. It is in question. Now, has he had fits of accuracy? Yes. In Buffalo in the second half, he was accurate and good, I thought. And I think the Raiders game, Claypool could have bailed him out a time or two, too, by making a catch. But, uh, you know, is he as good as he was? No, he's not. But, it, but if it, you believe he can do that, why do you say you're willing to replace him? I just said I was willing after two and a half quarters the way it was going, and then he came back and played, I thought, pretty well the final quarter and a half, and that's why I'm not willing to go to Mason Rudolph this week. Matt, what's up? Start. What's up, Matt? Yeah. Hey, guys. Thanks. Um, you know, Ben, no, Ben cannot drive the ball down the field accurately. And if you think he can, then you're blind. You're not seeing the right, you're not seeing the same thing we all are. So 58 pass attempts, uh, 318 yards, 5.5 yards per pass attempt. Everything's an out. Everything's a quick slant. Everything's a wide receiver screen. Peyton Manning even said it last night on his broadcast. He would never call wide receiver screen. He would only audible to it. That's our whole offense. Now, now is that, let seven, me jump in just for a sec, Matt. Okay. How much of that is Ben's arm? How much of that is an offensive line that simply cannot hold blocks to for any quarterback to get it down the field, unless it's a guy who can I, run around a little bit like a younger Ben? I think the majority of it is Ben's arm. And that's why you see no play calls in our offense beyond 12 yards over the middle. Every other quarterback in the league, they have those plays in their playbook because the quarterback can make that throw. It's almost like Ben's playing scared to throw to that part of the field because he lacks accuracy. You mentioned it. He missed Claypool actually twice inside the red zone. But those 18 play 88-yard drives, that's not what we need. And, and that's all Cincinnati. You're, you're down 17 points at that time. So Cincinnati's giving you five-yard out. So it took you 18 plays, 15 of them were passes, to get inside the red zone, and you don't take one shot from inside the 20-yard line to the end zone. That's because he is incapable of making that throw accurately any longer. There's too many bodies in the middle of the field, so he, he won't let that loose because the accuracy let me, is let me there. Ask, appreciate the call. Ron has been lacking confidence. He tried a couple of those middle of the field passes the last time I remember. Well, he had a couple against the Bills, but the last time I really remember it was the Browns, and it didn't turn out well. But but my question is, do you think Ben, who's been a swashbuckler his whole, whole career, career, has lost confidence? You know, I would say no, because I know him pretty well, and I, I think he 
believes in himself and is willing to live with the results. If it's an interception, it's an interception. I said I want to believe that, but I just remember uh, a couple years ago uh, before Mike Sullivan came in, Sidney Crosby lost his confidence. He wasn't the same player. If Sidney Crosby can lose confidence, Ben can too. I, I still would say no, but I'll never forget that Crosby thing before Sullivan took over. And he basically said, you know, he just wasn't believing in himself like he always did. I feel like it takes just subtle little things to completely change everything. Like, has Ben's confidence in his line wavered a bit? Oh, how, I bet how, that ass. How couldn't it, right? Yeah. So if, it? if that thought is, is, is just a tiny, tiny little speck in the back of your mind that I don't have time to step up and throw over the middle, especially with this guy in front of me as my center, and – I don't have confidence anymore that I can throw accurately 15 to 25 to 30 yards down the middle of the field. Even a little speck of, of, of lack of confidence. Man, those two things can go a long way toward, well, basically here, ending a guy's career, Ron. I have to wonder about it. Yeah. yeah I, again, you know, when, if Crosby can lose his confidence, anybody can. But, I mean, I, I just – you said faith in his line – how in the world could he have faith in his line? Mook, what's up? Mookie. Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead, man. You're up. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I love being and sad as it is to say, it's his time. It's time to give it up. And I saw Rudolph play against Pitt. My cousin Darren Hall was the running back against Pitt. So I know what that dude can do if he run his type of offense. And I just called He him ain't playing against the pit defense. That's, that's true. He that's is true. not playing against the pit defense. If, if everybody was playing against Pat Narduzzi's they'd all defense, be all they'd, be, <laughs> they'd already true. be in the Super Bowl. <laughs> but I just called Against him Western today. Michigan. Go ahead. Just to say this. They're going to – I don't think Ben going to make it through the year, so Mason Rudolph is going to get a chance to play. And if he does and does well, I'm telling you guys, you heard it here first. This is setting up for Aaron Rodgers to come here next year. I why think why, why in the world tomorrow. would Aaron Rodgers want to come here with Kendrick here. Green in front of him? Why? <laughs> they, they'll, get, they'll get the line together. I got they will? confidence. They'll, yeah, they'll get uh, it together. The only thing I agree you with you, more saying, confidence than me, Mook. The only Thank thing you. I agree with you, Mook, is he's not going to make it through the year like this. Not taking 23 hits in three games, eight sacks in three games. He's not going to last. If you're Aaron Rodgers. Nor would anybody last. If you're Aaron Rodgers and you have your pick of the litter, you look at, you know, any team that might have a quarterback situation where you could jump right in, and, of course, he could pretty much anywhere, the Steelers would be one of the first teams he would cross off his list. I can promise you that. One of the first teams he would cross off his list, and it would be because of that offensive line. Do you agree, Ron? He wouldn't last either. I mean, the way they're playing and the hits they're getting. Plus, he's no young kid either. He's going to get older too, and 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 it's going to slow down a little bit. We thought that the first game against New Orleans when he looked so bad. Now he's came back. Uh, but I mean, the Adams kid and he have great chemistry, but he he hasn't done much with other players on that passing game. It's no. just all been Adams, right? I will say. I mean, it only it counts. I mean, that. Wait, what now? I said it counts what he does with Adams, but. None of his other receivers and he seem to be on the same page. Rogers? Yeah. Now Adams and he have something. You mean to in this last game? Yeah. So far this year, um, I mean do you, uh, Adams is terrific. Could be the best player in the league, and they clearly have something magical. But uh, you know, I, I'm just not sure. I, I, I'm going to want Aaron Rodgers next year at the price he would probably really. Come at. Yeah. I think because what's he 39? Uh, no, I don't or, think no, he's, he's that 37, old yet. I think. I think he's yeah. a couple years younger than Ben. Man. But the price he's going to come at. So we'll see. We'll see how the year finishes. I would take Aaron. I think Aaron Rodgers has a lot of high level football left here. He's, yeah. he's, he has, has he had major injuries? I don't think. He just still looks great. One more point on Ben's arm. I mean, when I do watch other quarterbacks, and I just turned around and watch Baker Mayfield, the ball does come out differently, Ron. I, I, I don't think Ben Ben does not have the cannon arm he once had. Would you agree with that? Probably, yeah. A lot of his passes are, are wobbly. A lot of his passes just aren't driving it down the field. Some are, 
And I know people love to point out the ones that are. The one against the Bills last year. Was it Juju who caught it? Yeah, that's what happens when a guy starts to lose it in every sport. Babe Ruth hit three home runs in his last game. You just lose. You still have it in there, but you can't do it consistently. You can't do it consistently. No, you're right. Did the Steelers, and we still have a bunch of people who want to talk, so we're going to get to them. Did they have, do they have a good succession? Obviously, they didn't have, unless you believe in Mason Rudolph or Dwayne Haskins. A good succession plan for Ben. 